Hey y'all, today I'm going to be sharing what I do with stale inventory, inventory that either I don't want to sell or inventory that has been just sitting for years and years. Long story short, I send my stale inventory into ThreadUp. I don't pay for expedited shipping. I don't pay for returns. I pack all this stuff up in a box and I hope for like 40, 50 bucks and I buy myself a ThreadUp rescue box. That is the short of it. I have come across a lot of stale inventory uh, going through my inventory room this past week. And honestly, y'all, it's because of a lot of things. One, I buy a lot of mystery boxes. And as we all know, a lot of stuff that comes in mystery boxes are things that aren't necessarily like sellable or they just don't go for a lot of money. Uh, they're not really searched out. Uh, and another thing, a lot of this stuff is has been listed for like two plus years. So before the pandemic, my Goodwills used to do 50 cent tags. And back then I used to mainly sell maternity and baby clothes because I literally, y'all, I sold so much of that because that made for great bundles. Almost all of my sales were a part of my two for $25 sale. And anyway, that was like how I ran my business years ago. And that's just not the way I run it any longer. I definitely have a much higher ASP. So I'm going to just, I, I've had this, listen, I mention every once in a while that I sell to thread up and I never wanted to really make a video on it because everything I send in is stale inventory or it's items that my friends have given me that I just have no interest in selling. And I've, every time I mention it, I have people comment like, hey, can you please, sorry I'm touching my hair. It keeps like flying in my mouth. But anyway, every time I make a video, people are like, can you show us what you're actually selling to thread up? Because I never mention it. Um, I have not made a lot of sales. I don't think I've even, I don't think I've even made a thousand dollars throughout the years selling to thread up. So I just want to be really transparent with y'all. This is not, th selling to thread up is not a way um, it, it's just not something I include in my business as a way to make money. This is just kind of like last resort, hopefully make some money and buy a rescue box with ThreadUp credits. So anyway, if you're interested in what I'm sending to ThreadUp, what has not sold for me in two plus years, some of this stuff has only been listed a year, year and a half, but the majority of the stuff has been listed for two years. Just keep watching. I'm going to just jump right into it. That was like the longest intro I think I've done in months. All right, so as far as what I'm sending in, this box, and I'll do another video next week or maybe in a couple weeks because I'm gonna go through some pants, shorts, things like that. This box is specifically tank tops, short sleeve shirts, and dresses because I'm filming this at the very end of November 2021 and I've been sending in boxes. I haven't filmed any of that. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever filmed selling to thread up a video for y'all. My boxes that I've sent in this month in November aren't supposed to be processed. I want to say they said February or March they're going to be looking. So anyway, I thought, okay, let me just send in spring and summer items because that's about how long they're taking to process these things. So these are just dresses, short sleeve shirts, and tank tops. Okay, let me show you what I am sending in. And y'all, some of this stuff does have flaws, but honestly, I've just had it listed for so long. I'm kind of over it. By the time this video goes up, this stuff will still be listed. So if you see something in this video that you just have to have, you know, it should be on my Poshmark closet for maybe the next day or two. And then I'm taking it all off and I'm sending it in maybe Wednesday or Thursday this week. Send me an offer on anything, $4, $5, whatever it is. Okay, um, G size medium. This is actually cute. I don't know why this never sold. This got no attention, y'all, at all. Just a little top. Okay, this was a bodysuit bride squad. I thought that was cute. Um, okay, this is, can I tell y'all, I don't really list a lot of tank tops unless they're worth um, good money. I send in, I would say, I would say, and I'm just guesstimating here, 
probably 50 or 60 percent of the things that I've sent into ThreadUp have been tank tops and those sell the best for me. I don't know, Artesian, New York. Anyway, just a little tank top. Not sure where that's sold at. Um, this got no attention. Tommy Hill figure. It's just like a white sailor top. It has like little anchors and stars on it. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so cute. Kenar. And it's just like a blue, it has bell sleeves blue and right uh red striped top uh this is super dry i think is how you pronounce it just a tank top really thin really thin tank top um this is a brand i've had like selling to thread up before uh lady hagen i don't know it's some golf brand just a green polo shirt that's flawed so they're probably not going to accept that and carson and Carson short sleeve blouse. Um, oh, this is a St. John's piece that I literally could not sell to save my life, size small. And anyway, it's just like this little thin black tank top. I think most of the people who buy St. John, I think they're really y'all just looking for like blazers and stuff. That's what I pick up to sell for St. John. Uh, Violet and Claire. Another little tank top. It, I have the tank tops and shirts at, or here's a dress. Let me finish with the shirts, and then the majority of this is actually dresses. Um, this is Decree, size small. Just a, oh, this is long, well, no, this is like three-quarter length sleeve. Yeah, I'm just going to send it in. Um, oh, I was surprised this didn't sell. Uh, this is Lily Pulitzer. And it even has like the little dry cleaning tag thing on it. It's just a tank top. It's definitely not like the traditional style. But I had zero attention with that one. Uh, Violet and Claire. Bright yellow tank top. This is a Banana Republic Factory. This was one of the first pieces I ever, like whenever I started Poshmark, because I, I originally just sold on eBay and then like, what, two and a half, three years ago, I started my Poshmark closet. This was one of the first things I purchased. And uh, yeah, that was just a 50 cent tag thing. I will tell you, if you are just starting to resell, I, I don't think I've ever been in the red any month since I came home and started reselling. And I will tell you, as much as this 50 cent stuff didn't sell, a lot of it did. And because I was spending so little on inventory at the beginning of my reselling journey, I was never in the red. I always made a profit every single month. Uh, so if you're just starting out, you don't need a lot of money to start out. However, I do pay up a little bit for things now, and by a little bit, I mean like $4, $5. Back then, I didn't even want to pay that. So, yeah, my business has just changed. Okay, Delia's. This is cute. What size is this? Medium? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's something I would actually wear. Okay, getting to the end of the shirts. Uh, Kato. It's like an animal print short sleeve top, collared. Um... All right, let's see. This just says Nope Marcy. I've never heard of that. Just a Nope tank top. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos because my friends donate stuff to me all the time. And a lot of it, y'all never see because I usually just send it to thread up. So let me know if you like these type of videos. Copper key. Just a little short sleeve blouse. And is that it? Okay, that was all the tops. I'm going to go ahead and move them right over there, make some more room. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the dresses that I just, I've, I've just been sitting on these dresses for so long. And it felt so good to get this stuff out of my inventory room. My tubs were <laughs> a lot lighter, which I'm thankful for. Okay. You guys may be surprised, or maybe not, if you've watched me for a while, I always mention this. Well, not always, but I mention it anytime I find Patagonia. I always mention, I pick up pretty much every Patagonia piece, 
accept dresses. I've had this dress for years, no attention. I cannot sell it, size medium. I did pull it one time. I wore this for a funeral one time, um, just cause I needed a black dress. So it did be purpose there. Uh, but other than that, I, I mean, I haven't had any attention. No one wanted it. Flex, <laughs> y'all. Flexin is a hell of a drug. That's interesting, right? I don't know why I picked that up. Carmen Mark Volvo. This is a cute spring dress. Just a yellow little dress. Good for Easter. It has little bows. All right. This is uh, Forever 21. This was actually my dress. It's like a burnt orange dress. I used to wear that on my other job. Okay, this is a Everly striped dress, no belt. Um, this is uh, da, 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 Donna Morgan. It's a linen dress. And it's more of a mature style. Has buttons in the back. I couldn't sell this and I was kind of shocked. Um, I had originally, I bought this for me maybe six, seven years ago. Never wore it. No, I lied. I wore it for a picture and I, well, I think it was the picture to sell this. I think my listing picture is me wearing this. Um, heart and hips and I left the Ross tag on. I don't know, should I take that off? Anyway, it's a strapless like pantsuit, jumpsuit. It's really cute. And I mean, like I said, I bought it new, so it's never been worn, but no one wanted it. Um, this is Gap. Cute little floral strapless dress. This one I think is Jessica Simpson. Yeah, Jessica Simpson. It has zero interest on this one as well. It has a really deep V. Um, this one is more recent, but I think it's flawed. What is this? Yeah, this is I Love H81. I think this is one that's only been listed. It hasn't been listed that long. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is something I got in a unclaimed baggage box, and I've had this listed for about a year, and I've had... I've had no attention. So I am going to go ahead and send that. Uh, this is Gap. I mean, this is a cute little colorful dress. It has a waist at the tie, uh, but no one wanted it. Y'all, I have been going back and forth. I've done pulled this dang dress out of my box literally, I think three or four times already. It's BB Dakota. My friend gave me this dress and I really want to keep it, but realistically, I don't know, I don't know what I would wear underneath this. Like, I guess like a nude bodysuit, it's just a mesh, I don't know. I, I keep trying to talk myself into keeping it, but then I'm like, Alicia, where are you going to wear that to? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. Okay, this one, reseller mistake, I did pay full price for this. And I thought this was a great item. However, I don't think I looked up comps when I purchased this. And so here's a heads up, junk food. And I think it's new without tags, cause look, it still had this tag and that's not our thrift store tag. Anyway, it has the Mickey pockets. It's like a Disney junk food romper. It's a, it's, I think it's 100% linen romper literally no attention and if you look up comps they're all selling for like ten dollars so that wasn't a great pickup because i think i paid six dollars for that yikes um exhilaration y'all know that tag i've had this one for quite some time as well i remember this one <clears throat> all right this this is also more of a recent one. I think this also is from my unclaimed baggage. It's Old Navy. And, or maybe not. Maybe I actually got this at the 50 cent sale. Just a blue dress. 
Okay, here's something I've had half and half luck with. Uh, David's Bridal. Y'all all know what the tag looks like, right? I've sold some of their dresses. Um, I, I used to get these for 50 cents. And I think what happened was I bought a lot of this stuff right before the pandemic. And then I think maybe people just maybe weren't needy. I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense to me because I was thinking, okay, people are going to need a bridesmaid's dress or a wedding dress or something. And stores are closed, so maybe they'll purchase it online. Anyway, long story short, no. Apparently, no one was thinking that. And I thought I got some cute dresses, too. A lot of them I had to let go for like 15, 20 bucks. And then that one just sat and sat and sat. Okay, this is a, another Everly dress. Little floral dress. It has an exposed zipper. I don't have great luck selling Everly. Let me know if you do. Um, this is something, just something someone gave me, uh, Carol Little. I'm not really sure where that's sold at. Just a black little dress. What size is this? Size six? I need an, this may sound morbid. Okay. I need another funeral dress. Um, this, I don't know. I think it's going to be too big. Am I the only one out there that always has like a funeral? Cause like, okay, think about it. If someone passes away, are you gonna really wanna go out and like find something to wear? I don't know. I don't know. I just know I need one because the Patagonia was my funeral dress. Okay, Har Harvey Bernard, I have no idea. Size 10. It's a wool dress, um, like a plaid. You know who I, I think Super Geeked actually gave this to me. I think one of her neighbors gave it to her, and then she gave it to me. Oh, this was mine, you guys, and it never sold, and I really thought it would. Um, it's Umji, and look how sexy this is. Anyway, it has like this like fun Aztec top, and then it has like cutouts right here, and then just like a really short skirt. I think that's adorable, but I couldn't sell it. Um, oh, yeah, here's another thing that came in the unclaimed baggage. Uh, teeny weeny. I've never heard of that before. Um, this is a, I already forgot what it looked like. Okay. Striped dress, has a belt and some buttons. I mean, it's a cute dress, but I just can't sell it. Oh, yeah, here was another dress that was mine, Route 21. Pretty sure this has a stain on it somewhere but that looks great if you have dark legs that's like the perfect color to wear um I've also had this one for a hot 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 minute Sag Harbor someone commented on my video the other day and they said that they have so much Sag. it was it Sag Harbor or Susan Bristol one or the other anyway they said they could not sell it to save their lives floral dress. Okay, we're getting down to the end, you guys. Um, this one, do, 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 where are you at? Beach Lunch Lounge. I usually have, like, uh, selling that brand. Black floral dress. Didn't have luck with that one. That is also from the unclaimed baggage box. Maybe I should never, I, I never did, but maybe I shouldn't buy another one of those boxes because the, <laughs> the lingerie box that I thought would be filled with like Victoria's Secret, Fredericks of Hollywood. Do y'all remember that? I'm gonna link it above. Those boxes were interesting. Okay, yeah, I don't know where this is sold. Pinky, have you guys ever heard of this? Uh, it doesn't have like, I don't know, maybe it's just like a boutique dress. It doesn't have a price. Uh, not a bad looking dress though. Has these little sheer sleeves with um, like a faux leather cuff. And that was everything, you guys. So, yeah, I thought I would go ahead and do this video for y'all because people always request it whenever I just mention that I sell to thread up. I, I sell this stuff. This is my like stale inventory, inventory that just isn't selling, you know, for me. I, I can't sell it for whatever reason. Um, I bet you a lot of it has to do with my pictures because back in the day, I, whenever I started like on Poshmark, I didn't have a ring light. 
Um, I didn't have a mannequin. Yeah, I, I think my pictures probably had a lot to do with it. Um, and also, I just don't know if these are really like searchable items. I don't know, I could be wrong. All I know is that I couldn't sell them. So this is the type of stuff that I send to thread up. If you guys want to see another video, let me know because I, I probably send something to thread up almost every month, y'all. Um, I've already sent them, I think, two or three boxes earlier this month. So let me know if these videos interest you and I can keep making them. Let me know if you want an update on this video or on this box. I can also do that. However, this box probably won't be processed till like March or April. Uh, yeah, so uh, my hopes with this is that I'll make around 40, 50 bucks. And things always surprise me. I mean, sometimes that, oh, one thing that surprised me, one of my most surprising thread up sales was a, um, it was a Calvin Klein dress. I wonder if I can go back and look up the picture. If I can go back, I'll insert it right here. Um, I, don't, I don't really like go on my thread up dashboard or whatever and look at my stuff. I just remember I got a payout. It didn't sell for this. I got a payout of like 20 something dollars for a Calvin Klein dress. So if I ever see any Calvin Klein that I just don't want to list at the bins or whatever, I definitely send that in. Other than that, my average payout from ThreadUp, y'all, is like 30, 40 cents, which I'm okay with because, again, this isn't stuff like, I'm not going to be in the red, okay? Like, this isn't stuff I spent a ton of money on, and I'm just going to use whatever money that I get from selling this stuff and just use it on a ThreadUp rescue box because... I'm addicted. I have a problem. We all know this. I hope y'all found this video interesting. I wore my new Nike shirt that I just got at Goodwill and there is a story behind it. Stay tuned. Tomorrow's video will be a Goodwill rant because I have something to say about my Goodwill. I mean, it's getting pretty unacceptable up in there. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye you guys.